So why is it important to post? Well, I think the key answer is visibility. If you're not posting, you're not visible. It's like not going to a network meeting or not speaking to customers, not picking up the phone. Social media is another tool in which you can market and sell. But if you're not posting, then you're not making yourself visible. Look, you can jump into groups and communicate with people and build up conversations. That's absolutely fine. And that, that is a good strategy to do. But if they go to your business page and they see no posts, where are they going to get that information from that they're missing? They're going to either need to ask you loads of questions and you're going to need to spend more time than you want trying to sell this person, which might end up not buying. Or they're just going to turn away because they can't see the information they want. And they think, well, if you're not using social media, it's like not phoning me. So posting is vital to visibility. And look, you'll hear people say that you need to be posting 20 times a day. I think Twitter is actually 25 times a day now. Uh, Instagram, they say you should be uh, six times a day. Facebook twice a day, LinkedIn once a day. I'm not even sure on TikTok and Snapchat, to be honest, because I don't find those platforms relevant to the people in which I consult with. But the thing is, is posting comes down to the amount that works for you. So the amount of times you can post. If you can only post three times a week, then three times a week is what you should be posting. You just got to be consistent. If three times a week is what works and gives you enough sales each week or month, then again, three times a week is right for you. If you want to grow your sales, you post a little bit more. So you have to do what's right for you and your audience. You've got to find a strategy that works for you. It takes time, it really does. And instead of starting with 20 posts a day and working your way down, just start with a smaller number and work your way up. It's gonna work best for you and the platform because Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn don't want to see you spamming your audience. They want to know that you are creating meaningful conversations. So start small, maybe twice a week, three times a week, and work your way up. If you are working on projects, so if you are, let's say, in the decorating industry and you go and work in a house for a week and then you've got another two weeks off, then don't post for one week and then do nothing for two weeks. Make sure those posts spread over the space of three weeks. So spread them out. You can always say that I did this last week or I did this a few weeks ago, but I, I just want to share with you what happened. So you can change the wording to fit the time in which you're posting it out. But just make sure that you are consistently posting and I promise you it will gain more traction and the social media channels themselves will help you with reach and building engagement more than that, what they will by just posting here and there or posting as in a bunch and then not posting for a certain amount of time afterwards. I've met people that say they haven't posted for the last six months. If that's you, if you haven't, then again, build up to it. And you're not gonna get traction on the, f the first few posts or the several posts, the first several posts, because Facebook need to know that you're gonna start treating this seriously. And also, again, you're going to want to build up a reputation with your audience. So people aren't going to respond without knowing who you are. Maybe they've forgotten who you are over the last six months. So don't worry if you don't gain traction or engagement on the first few posts. It will take a bit of time to build that up again. It's exactly the same as going to a network meeting. You'll see when you go to a network meeting, there's familiar faces that interact and engage with each other. And you kind of feel left out until you've built up that reputation till people have got to know you and it's exactly the same on social media so building creating content is extremely important but if you haven't done it for a while just remember it takes time and be consistent